Princess Grace of Monaco, Grace Kelly, died today in Monte Carlo of injuries suffered in a fiery car crash yesterday. She was 52 years old. Palace spokesman said the princess died of a cerebral hemorrhage. It was an unlikely ending for the storybook life of Grace Kelly, daughter of a prominent and wealthy Philadelphian, a movie star, and a princess. Good morning from the micro state of Monaco. Population 36,000. It's the second smallest state in the world after the Vatican City. Today I'm going to be visiting the gravesite of Grace Kelly, or as I should probably refer to her, uh, Princess Grace of Monaco. She died from injuries sustained from a car accident in 1982. The American actress became Princess of Monaco after marrying Prince Rainer in 1956. As an actress, her career was fairly brief, as she stopped acting when she became a princess. She starred in several classic films, including three Hitchcock films. You know, you're in a rich country when they put nice patterns on the bins. She made her film debut in 1951, in the film 14 Hours and her breakthrough role was in the following year with the film High Noon. She starred in several classic films including Rear Window, High Society and To Catch a Thief. I'm up where what would have been the old city, I guess. The fortified part of the city. Of course, Monaco featured in the Alfred Hitchcock film To Catch a Thief. One of the scenes that were filmed in Monaco is now quite poignant. In the scene, Grace Kelly and Cary Grant are parked by a hairpin band. The location of the scene is almost identical to the spot where Grace Kelly had her car accident. Two thousand and twenty-three is actually the centenary of Prince Rainier the Third. So they've got these banners up all over the city. And this is the royal palace of the Grimaldi dynasty. This is where Grace Kelly lived in Monaco. She gave birth to three children, Princess Caroline, Prince Albert, and Princess Stephanie. Her film career ended when she got married and she concentrated on charitable courses around the world. She struggled with not being allowed to make any more films due to her status as a princess, but she did occasionally appear in documentaries and TV programmes. Just witness the changing of the guard there. Monaco doesn't have an army as such, but they do have a force of 200 men and I think a hundred of them are assigned to protecting the royal family and the palace. And it's actually the same force that's responsible for firefighting in the city. Just across from the royal palace you've got these narrow streets with the restaurants and tourist shops. Just have a look at the view from this side of the palace. Uh, 
of these really colourful buildings here. And it's spotless here, you won't see any litter at all and it's they must be like jet washing these pavements all the time. It's just extremely clean. Chris Kelly died as a result of her injuries following a car crash. I'm just making my way to the scene of the car crash along these uh, little alleyways that go on forever. I'd love to jump into that pool now, it's so hot. Okay. And this is the hairpin bend where the accident happened. It's just outside of Monaco. And Princess Grace was driving back to Monaco from the family's country home in Rocagel in France. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. On this particular day she had decided to drive the car herself against the wishes of her usual driver and her daughter, Princess Stephanie, was in the car with her. It's believed she suffered a stroke as she was coming down this road. And it's believed the car was doing as much as 60 miles an hour. And she came straight across here. There wasn't a wall here at the time. And the car crashed down this ravine and landed 120 feet down by the side of the house. Now there's a photo of this area after the accident. You can see, I don't know if you can see this, there's a, there's a wall over there. You can see that in the picture. And the car must have come this way because there was a tree that had been sliced in half by the car. These trees were here at the time so I'm guessing these must have slowed down the car as it was falling which probably saved Princess Stephanie's life. Princess Grace was critically injured and she never regained consciousness. She died the next day in Monaco Hospital at the age of 52. I believe Princess Stephanie had an injury to her neck and she was in hospital when the funeral took place and she actually watched the funeral on television in the hospital. Now for a long time there was speculation that Princess Stephanie was actually driving the car that day. That her name was cleared 10 years later when the report into the crash was released and it showed photos of the car and all the damage, the most of the damage to the car was on the driver's side. So it was obviously um, Princess Grace who was driving. Also a police officer had seen Princess Grace driving the car shortly before the accident as well. Now seeing, seeing the road I'm surprised if the car was going 60 miles an hour if she had lost consciousness because you need to be in some kind of control of the car to, to have gone round that bend and come this way. I'll just go over there and I'll show you the, what it looks like from there. Okay, so they're coming down here. And this is what they would have seen. A chance to go into the road here. Yeah. So the cars drive on the right hand side in France. So this is the view that they would have seen as they were, or Princess Stephanie would have seen. Okay, if the car was going straight down there, it would have crossed right here, then this is where it must have gone over. And the fate of the car after the investigation was complete is unclear. But some people say it was crushed into a cube and 
dropped into a deep part of the Mediterranean. I'll just go down this little road here, you can see the house where the car came to rest. Okay, the car came to rest by the back of this house here. There was a 64-year-old gentleman called Sesto Lequio living here at the time. And it was him who pulled Princess Stephanie from the wreckage. So the car would have come down from over there and it would have landed roughly where that car is there, but against the side of the house. Just further down from the house now, there's the hairpin bend over there. So the car came down that way towards the back of the house here and it actually landed on its roof. Photographs of the car weren't really seen until 10 years after the accident when the findings of the reports were released. Although there were some photographs taken from a helicopter 36 minutes after the crash, but I don't know if those photos were originally suppressed. And this is Monaco Cathedral, the final resting place of Grace Kelly. Some of the famous people who attended her funeral include Nancy Reagan, Princess Diana and her co-star in the film To Catch a Thief, Cary Grant. And she was buried next to her father-in-law in the Grimaldi family vault. Prince Rainier III died in 2005 and he's now buried next to her. 